This Minicon could give you a tactical advantage against Megatron. It actually doesn't give you much of a tactical advantage against Minicon. The um, Minicon you down there is failsafe, and it's one of the few, the other ones being the ones in Antarctic, that don't have a sort of Minicon flair. However, we've got two stealth commanders to worry about, and that one just shot us in a dishonorable fashion while invisible. So we're going to run backwards. You can pretty much see them uh, if you are, as you're playing the game. They're a bit harder to see for you guys, I'm sure. Uh, they can roll out of the way of our shock shells because they're bastards. So we are going to have to deal with them before we can do any kind of anything, really. You, take that. Not going to. Not going to deal with your ways, Optimus Prime. I'm a stealth commander in the 4th Stealth Regiment, 15th 2nd Panzer Division, and I will not deal with your ways. Yes, you will. Oh. So you're going to be like that, are you? Well, we'll call it a draw. Okay, now I'm blatantly stealing from Monty Python. Anyway, there's another gun turret over here with a guy who's going to try and man it, but he's not, because I forget where it is. Okay, it's actually down there, located there, and disguised as itself. Die. And it turns out that actually, despite the fact the whole thing blew up with him in the seat, he's fine. He's okay. He can even walk on a near vertical rock, but not anymore. There you go again, sir! You can sample my glorious scrap it cure! There you go. Isn't that marvellous? Right, as I said, the flying unit's up there. Now, I'm going to explain to you precisely why, as I blow up this gun turret from way outside its range, I'm going to explain to you precisely why uh, Airburst works. Now, Airburst does pathetically weak damage, as I'm sure you will recall. That's why it doesn't really damage dropships very well. But how come it's so effective against them, you're thinking? Well, it's a blast radius weapon with proximity detonators, and that is its advantage against um, flying units. It's not the weapon that kills them, it's falling that kills them. Any weapon which has any kind of splash damage on it will knock one of those guys out of the air. However, there, are o there is only one rapid-firing splash damage weapon in this game, and guess which one it is? Yep, it's the one we're holding, Aftershock. Ooh, yeah. So, we are pretty much set up to deal with those di guys, so we're going to... And again, we've got rockets uh, skipping up over the terrain. We've got these two guys throwing nades at us because they're nasty type people. You, you goddamn nade spammer, take that! I've got rockets! I don't need nades. Not for the likes of you. Oh! But, but, I thought that spamming nades was good in any game! Not in this one. Oh, I'm gonna go back and play Call of Duty some more. Bastard. Okay, so we've got to deal with that guy there. And that guy there. You die. And we're going to blow up that guy's bunker because we don't like him at all. Okay, jet snipers! Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, right. Come on, guys. I've got aftershock now. I'm not going to put up with any more of your killing me as in that Antarctic video that no one saw. Not any more, bastards. Ha <laughs> ha Yep, there's going to be a blooper reel to this because uh, a couple, there's a couple of cutout deaths. I mean, if anyone actually cares or anything. But um, I'll try to record commentary over them as if I was there. So I'll be all like, Ugh, and hacks and it will be fantastically crap, I'm sure. Okay, now this is how we get the glitch with Aftershock. As I said, it doesn't quite work here. What you do is you fire a shot over there. See those guys? Yep, we fire a rocket launcher shot at them, and we keep charging this. And what actually happens is, for some reason, they run to the top of this hill and stay there. Now, when I did this in my practice run, they actually stayed there until I'd killed all of them with Aftershock. But this time around, not so much. It's because they're now running towards me. God damn it, so I'm going to have to power links. Now, the only problem with Aftershock, uh, in this particular context, is if you've got a dash minicon, because if you use a dash minicon, you fire it immediately, which, uh, depending on what happens, can be either inconvenient or fatal. And obviously, if it's fatal, that's bad. Now, another glitch with the uh, AI here appears to be some sort of pathfinding-related gubbins, because, well, you'll see, something very strange happens with the medium units that spawn in the bunker later on. Meanwhile, Aftershock continues to, you know, kick the shit out of absolutely everything, because, as I said, it's my favourite Minicon, and I love it to absolute bits. But, um, I'm starting to doubt a liking for Corona, actually, as well. Uh, I didn't really get at either of the ribbon beams, um, until I pretty much had no use for anything. But, yeah, Corona's pretty cool as well. It's good against masses of units, whereas this one is good if you can put some space between you and them. So, we've got a melee supergun, and we've got a long-range supergun. Ooh, we're set for anything now. Okay, so up here we've got the two bunkers that I told you about. Now we're going to run past these guys for some reason. Alright, we just look back for a minute, I think we do. They're going to run past us. They're going to just carry on running that way. I'm, I'm really not sure why, you know, they're all just buggering off. And they do it again, in a minute, when we come, when we come back out of this portal. Because what actually happened here was I tried to fly down there. I had an aftershock shot fully charged for when I landed. 
you'll see the flight in a minute. And what actually happened was, right before I landed, I blew my own nuts off. It was kind of embarrassing. So anyway, we just shattered dissolve that because I didn't actually go through the portal. And we're going to jump out. And as again, we actually just died down there. Okay, so we've got all these guys. They're going to come out of the bunkers. If we'd actually stayed still behind the bunker, I think they'd just have walked off. There you go, look, you see, because they're all going that way. And if we ignore them, they just keep running that way. It makes absolutely no sense at all. I think they're running. They're like running towards a commander that isn't there or something. I thought I'm just incredibly fond of that hill over there. I'm really not sure. It's a very, very strange occurrence and should probably be noted in some form of book for posterity, ladies and gentlemen. For posterity. Now we're going to have power links again. We're going to deal with these guys. All of you can die. <laughs> Now, I think there was actually some of them I didn't get, but I don't really care, so we're going to get all of them this time. You, you can die first, you can die second, and thirdly, where are you? Oh no, more of them have spawned from those bunkers. We'd better deal with them, ladies and gentlemen. We can't allow men to go spawning from bunkers. They might get ideas of their station, and that is just not on. You, you will be my manservant from here forth, and I shall call you Charleston. No. No way. It's going to be a revolution, Optimus Prime, you bourgeois pig. Never. We've already done this joke several times during this LP. And it's not going to happen again. Why, because you're running out of game? Shut up. God damn it, I'm not doing these meta jokes for the hell of it. These are difficult meta jokes. God damn it, I will. Okay, so we're going to pick up these. We are, in fact, not going to blow up the bunkers because they're empty and it doesn't matter, as I discovered earlier on, as you probably all noticed. Right, so we're going to actually make the glide over here behind us. Located over there is the only datacon I don't actually get during this part of the LP. Up there, that is... I think that's Stronghold, a excessively powerful blue minicon. There's no real good set of minicons here. I don't know where the hell he thought he could respawn from. Because down there, we've got three heavy units. Over that way, there is then a corridor full of snipers. Now, you can actually do quite well in the corridor full of snipers there by just power linksing and running, but to be honest, that's just stupid. Right, this is actually how I died the first time. I was coming down here, I thought I would, I don't know, I'll fire an aftershock shot at these guys down here and take them all by surprise. But uh, what actually happened was I fired an aftershock shot at the beach directly in front of me and blew my own nads off, which, you know, was kind of uncool. So, we've got a commander here, we've got a bunch of these guys, and he's for some reason decided to order them to the top of this cliff. Yes, it's another piece of terrain that they obsess over for no apparent reason. It's all very strange and very odd, to be honest. You. I've had enough of you being on my rock. Get off my rock. Ah, uh, but it's my rock. No, it's not. Right, we're going to pick this guy up. This is Shepard, and we will show you his functionality later. He is a minicon detector. He is just in case you don't have a strategy guide or anything. You can use him to find minicons. Now, I'm sure what you're supposed to do is for some reason have two slots spare here so that you'll be able to switch to him and figure out where failsafe is in that area. But really, if they wanted you to do that, they should probably have stuck a beacon down here because there is no beacon down here. It's pretty silly. Anyway, I'm going to fire that out of the way because people requested that I do some more truck moding. Yeah, and yeah, I'm sorry, uh, whoever you are. Veritas? I don't know. Uh, who requested uh, more awesome vehicle mode, and I thought he requested an awesome vehicle mode. I just ran and put an A in your sentence. But hey, now you've got an awesome vehicle mode and more awesome vehicle mode, and that is better than one or the other. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to die here. I will spoil that for you in advance. I'm going to die here because I decided to uh, go along with the wishes of my fans. It's all your fault, not mine. Ah, crunch. However, I'm not going to die yet. I'm going to take all these guys down with me. All of you are going to die first, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're going to power links quickly to go over there and get that guy's energy, because I thought that I could survive if I had that guy's energy. So, you, you are going to die. <laughs> We've got to deal with the three heavy units firing at us as well, though, and it's pretty goddamn difficult with those guys throwing grenades all the time. Fucking noobs. Right, so we're just going to strafe around, going to deal with that guy, eat all of our leads, and... Oh, no! Optimus! No! You have to get up! You have to finish this job! Snake! But it's okay, because we can just hit continue. Now, as I said before, I think, uh, regarding continuing, everything we've killed, because this is our first playthrough, everything we've killed stays dead. So that is why I didn't just cut that death out, because otherwise you would have had me glide down here assuring you that this was difficult. None of you would have believed me, because you're all bastards. And you would have just gone, Medieval Tim, 
that was a ridiculously easy village thing, and you fucked it up and died. And I'd have been like, but it wasn't a ridiculously easy village thing. It was full of, like, commanders and, and communists and, and Viet Cong. And they had, like, mortars and, and nuclear weapons. And, you, and you'd all have been like, yeah, right, of course. You're just making excuses, Evil Tim. I'd have been like, no, no, it, it was difficult. Come back. Don't leave me. It's cold and it's lonely. Meanwhile, these guys are obsessing over this hill again. I really don't know what the fuck is up with this hill, but apparently it's extremely popular in this area. Maybe it's made of chocolate. It is the hill of chocolate. So they're going to go up there. They're all going, Oh, no, we need chocolate. If we eat the chocolate, then we'll be strong again. They told us this. It must be true. Or alternatively, maybe this entire hill is made of fucking grenades, given the number that they throw off here. Yep, it's lots more grenade spamming. You, you goddamn whippersnappers, stop throwing grenades. Back in my day, video games were about skill, not just randomly tossing grenades at everybody. Oh yeah, you used to just rocket jump like bastards. How did you know? Fuck you all. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna deal with you using my weapons. The last one of you is gonna get my giant robot fist. That's you, my friend. That's you. Because your friend over there has been reduced to Corpse City. God damn, I didn't even get to whack any of them. Young whippersnappers ain't got no respect no more. Don't even let me punch them in their faces. It's terrible, that's what it is. I may be an old robot, may you be all the way from back G1, but I know what ass kicking's all about. I'm Optimus Prime. You, you, son. You need to learn some respect for your G1 elders. Oh, good lord. They've been blown up. Optimus Prime is on the warpath. He must have lost his pension book or something. Good lord. We'd better deal with him quickly before he gets any worse. He's got his aftershock type gun. That's really powerful and things. Has a tendency to destroy us. No. Oh. But I'm not going to be destroyed by him yet. I've got to... No. Looks like my plan didn't work. Well... There's only one thing for it. Heavy unit echoes, step forth. Okay. Clop, clop. I'm gonna hide from him. I'm gonna hide from him behind this building and there's no way he'll be able to... Oh, hello there, Optimus Prime. I'm gonna shoot at you now with my blasters and... Oh, that didn't work out as well as it could have done. Okay, so now that we've destroyed all the heavy units, he got these storage tanks to deal with. Because, you know what? They've been storing aircraft fuel in them, probably for the Luftwaffe. Not something we're going to take sitting down, standing up, or in any other form of poise, ladies and gentlemen. We have to deal with it. Otherwise, the British realm could be compromised. We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them in the cities and in the towns. And we'll blow up the beaches, the cities, and the towns. And then they won't be able to fight us anywhere anymore. It's a genius plan, and I'm glad I thought of it. Right, anyway, so this is the actual Minicon that was powerful, as opposed to the useless Minicon that wasn't powerful. This is failsafe. He is a heavy homing missile rocket type launcher. He is essentially just a bigger, better, and stronger version of the very first Minicon we picked up, remember? Do you remember the very first Minicon you picked up? Oh yes, I remember. It was a moonlit night. There, that mountain pass uh, no. will take you closer to the volcano summit. Expect heavy resistance. Okay, that means expect a bunch of jet snipers to shoot you in the balls. Is that understood? Yeah, I understand that I've got to expect heavy resistance, as I have been expecting for the entire remainder of this level. Now, these guys, luckily, they don't place any of them outside range or hailstorm. Nah. So, if you're canny about it, then you can take them all out using that. You don't need lookout here. Or alternatively, as I said, you can just power links and run. <laughs> now, as you see there, Aftershock is good for two shots from Hailstorm. It is as powerful as two shots. Very strong weapon there. Capital weapon of the realm. You. Time for you to eat Britishness. Ah. <laughs> Wait, no. Wrongness. These aren't jet snipers at all. These are lightning rods. Oh my god, I've been lying. I've been lying and telling you terrible lies. How will I ever be forgiven? I don't know. I am obviously going to have to attend some kind of purgatory, some kind of horrible, terrible place in which people are punished for telling random lies and making mistakes and all manner of other naughtiness. Anyway, there's a dropship going over there. We're not interested in that. It's not a dropship that we have any particular interest in. However, these two are relevant to our interests. We'd better deal with both of them. So firstly, we're going to shoot this one so that all the Decepticlones in it die. <laughs> Once again, splash damage goes straight through them. 
Now you can actually apparently climb inside these dropships if you're quick and uh, and fast on the trigger with Slipstream, but I'm not going to even try that because I'm going to jump through this portal instead, and I'm going to proceed to the next part of the update. Yes, it's a multi-part update, as with all the others. Now, if you're watching this on Google, you saw the whole thing. If you're watching this on Daily Motion, you saw this in two parts. But now it's time for part two or three, depending. So, carry on. Go. Now.